Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today we're going to be taking a look at all the unreleased cosmetics that have been vaulted and have never released, which ranges from armor pieces to backdrops, emblems, a bunch of coatings, some visors, and weapon charms. Now before we start, I do want to mention that ever since the exchange shop was introduced into Halo Infinite, 343 have been adding vaulted items into the exchange shop that are entirely new. The best example of that is that one Blamite helmet attachment, and yeah, 343 said themselves that they're going to be adding in a lot of vaulted content that they never got to release into the exchange shop so a lot of what i'm going to show you might make it into the exchange shop just keep that in mind who knows so yeah i think that'd be awesome if it does but with that being said let's get right into it the first thing we're going to look at is the armor pieces because i'm sure that's what most of you want to see so starting off is the alien evidence wrist attachment on to the next one we got the atx gloves next up we got the bladed guard hip attachment Onto the fourth one, we got the C52 Data Recorder, which is a helmet attachment. Onto the fifth one, we got the Chiron Gloves. Up next, we got some shoulder pads, which are called Grave Markers. Here we got another Yorai attachment, another hip attachment, which is the Heirloom Plate. Here we got something for the Mark IV, which is the High Brace Custom Shoulder Pad. Up next, we got a helmet attachment, which adds like some kind of like head clamp or something. I don't know what that is, but this one's been vaulted for quite a while now i think since like season two or three or something like that it's been in there for a while same with the next helmet attachment which is once again for the mark 7 and this one's like a headlamp or something like that that one's pretty cool looking too here we got a chest attachment which is the crow pay tooth which is basically just a knife made out of a tooth it seems like and that is of course for the rack of shaska core on to the next one which is possibly one of the best items here is an actual helmet that has also been vaulted for quite a while and that is the mark 7 h helmet Helmet, which kind of looks like the Macworld helmet in, in a sense, I feel like. But yeah, it's a pretty cool helmet. It's unfortunate we haven't seen it yet. Hopefully it does come in the exchange. On to the next one, we got another helmet attachment, which is also one that's been vaulted for quite a while. And that is the cool little, I guess you could say like the grunt mouthpiece or it's like a gas mask kind of attachment. Another pretty cool attachment that I actually wanted to see in the Yappening Pass when the first Yappening event came out. Now this one isn't exactly a armor piece, but I just want to throw it in here because there's only one stance and that is the Noble cowboy stance but anyways let's move on to the next armor piece which is the okonom helmet and this one was originally supposed to be part of the spartan surplus operation but it seems like that's no longer the case i did make a video about what happened with the spartan surplus and the anvil operation situation it's kind of confusing but i have a video on that if you want to know more about it but if it's not on the operation pass we'll probably see it in the exchange in the future anyways let's move on to the next armor piece which is a sap base shoulder pad on to the next shoulder pad which is one people have wanted for quite a while is the gun gear or gun near however the heck you say it shoulder pad and yeah i know a lot of people have been wanting this it's still not out on to the next armor piece we got the tack boom loom hip attachment and here's another armor piece that was supposed to be part of the spartan surplus operation and this is a tack regor shoulder pad which is for the mark 7 core on to the next one we got the tack all reliable chest attachment now let's move on to the next piece of armor we got which is the ua urgard i already know i'm gonna get a lot of flack for pronouncing all this stuff wrong but uh yeah that is some knee pads we got there on to the next one which is actually a really cool armor piece that i actually wanted to see in game for a while as well is the sunshade for one of the rakashaska helmets and yeah this one's really cool it kind of reminds me of like i think titanfall i would say so it's a shame we never got this hopefully we do see it in the future but yeah i think that's a pretty unique attachment anyways let's move on to the next armor piece we got which is some knee pads and this kind of looks like it's a part of like a tire and they just made it into knee pads or something which of course fits with the rakashaska theme so i think that's pretty cool now let's move on to the last armor piece and that is the calvis diagnostic harness chest attachment which is for the mark 4 but that about wraps up all the armor pieces that we may see in the future maybe in the exchange now let's move on to the next set of unreleased cosmetics and that being visors which there's not many so we can go through this one pretty quickly first one being bico turquoise which is basically just a green visor up next we got blood leaf which basically just a red visor on to the next visor we got the caro garnet which is a lighter red visor <laughs> and up next we got the nu splinters which this one's a little more unique it's kind of like a tv static visor is what it looks like so on to the next one we got green mixer this one's got a bit of a pattern going and this one i'm probably gonna absolutely butcher but i think it's magical aqua marine and the next one we got is meridium or meridim cobalt and this one's definitely interesting and that is the necropolis olive blaster which is basically just a full-on neon white visor and this one a lot of people will definitely buy 
biofills in the shop speaking of cool visors let's move on to the next one which is also really cool and that is the outrun fate visor this one kind of looks like the anti-dot slammed onto your visor and i'm all for it it looks really cool next up we got pattern seeker not much to say about this one this one's probably the most basic out of all the ones i'm showing you on to the next one we got running rampant not much going on there it's got an interesting design though and this one's pretty cool which is termination protocol this one's kind of similar to the outrun fate one except it's mostly red anyways on to last visor is ultraviolet which this one's actually pretty cool too it looks like it's a covenant visor it's got like that texture of like the covenant ships so that sums up all the visors now let's move on to the next set of unreleased cosmetics and let's go ahead and do armor coatings which there's a good amount the first one being access denied this one's been vaulted for like i think since like season one the next armor coating we got is ambitious intruder up next we got bengal tiger here's another one called bethic guardian up next we got burnt ash on to the next one we got cloaked dagger which has a bit of a pattern to it next one we got is desert t here's fire squire which has some like gold to it or is that like yellow or something here's another camouflage armor coating which is called green tiger up next we got martial checkmate now let's move on to the next armor coating which is never green oil up next we got power loader on to the next one we got resonant element this one's pretty funny we got sherman oaks i guess it's supposed to be like some kind of like tree coating or something I don't, I don't know i'm just saying stuff anyways on to the next one we got silent snow which is just a basic white armor coating something that we've needed for a while here's a pretty unique one we got the splatter punk armor coating up next we got the steel soldier which is also one that's been leaked for quite a while or vaulted i should say on to the next one we got undertow husk and the final armor coating being wired reflexes anyways that wraps up all the armor coatings now let's move on to the next set of unreleased items and since we're doing coatings already we might as well move on to weapon coatings the first one being academy issue pretty basic one this one's pretty cool looking i'm not even gonna try to pronounce it but uh yeah this one's pretty unique up next we got black and steel this one looks pretty cool as well this one's super basic we got bull roar these next few it's a little weird because they have the same name first one being chain link synth the second one of course being chain link synth as well they're named the same but they are completely different coatings same with these next two which is chain link warning um and yeah they look pretty cool next up we got damiscus green and this one's really cool as well we got d res looks like a weapon coating that would release during like the cyber showdown operations on to the next one we got earth's defender which is just a chrome weapon coating is what it looks like we got game Games Warden and this is another really cool one which is called heat stress anyways let's move on to the next one which is Hydra salute this one's got a bit of a weird name to it and this one would probably look really cool on weapons so we got magma vent moving on we got net riot old school seasonal greetings smoky ghost special ops then we got this one which is really cool looking as well tanks a lot for daunt hex Visagrad Scout Visibility Task and the final weapon coating is Waning Horizon. Now let's move on to the vehicle coatings which there isn't many but we're going to go ahead and cover them. The first one being Arctic Burn arctic disruption blackened ironside forest dragon this one sounds cool and the final vehicle coating being gen 12 so those are all the unreleased coatings now let's get into the weapon charms which i think there's actually some really cool ones in here and we got quite a lot so most of them i will say or at least like half of them are kind of just based on multiplayer medals but uh yeah let's get right into it so the first one being a kelly spine we got anchor charm athens charm autopilot engage charm autumn charm Charm, Ballista Charm, Bank Shot Charm, Battle Group Aerofall Charm, The Battle Group Indominus Charm, Battle Group Neptune Charm, we also got Battle Group Olympus Charm, that's quite a lot of battle groups. On to the next one, we got Boogeyman Charm, Boom Block Charm, Broken Dawn Charm, Bull True Charm, we got the Counter Snipe Charm, Cyborg Justice Charm, which is the CE Helmet, Death Race Charm, Demon Charm, Drive By Charm, Envious Gift Charm, Fire and Forget Charm, Flying High Charm, Grand Slam Charm, The Grim Reaper Charm, here's another Master Chief Helmet Charm, which is called Hunter Charm, Hydro Hero Charm, and this is the ICWS charm, which is basically just the assault rifle, I guess. Interlink charm, killing frenzy charm, killing spree charm, killjoy charm, kill apocalypse charm, kill toster free charm, kill atrocity charm, Kong charm, last Siona charm, last shot charm, lock tight charm, pound up charm, nade shot charm, nightmare charm, no scope charm, olive charm, on track charm, operation shatterline charm, pool charm, quick draw charm, we got quigley charm. 
Rampage Charm, Remote Detonation Charm, Requiem, Wrecker Charm. Okay, so this one's probably the Halo 4 helmet. Return to Send Charm, Ring Breaker Charm. That's gotta be the Halo 2 helmet, I think. Running Riot Charm, S7 Hero Charm, Saber Charm, Shot Collar Charm, Sidekick Hero Charm, The Sikar Charm, Sneaking Charm, Snipe Charm, Spanker Hero Charm, Tactical Retreat Charm, Torpedo Charm, and here's another Master Chief Helmet one. We got the War Hero Charm, which that one maybe that one's halo 3 anyways the final charm we got is the xbox charm um yeah that's quite a lot of charms but yeah a lot of them seem to be based off of metals it almost makes me wish there was like some kind of like challenge system in halo infinite not like the xp challenges or whatever but like actual uh what do they call it like commendations in halo 5 or like halo reach where you could do like certain challenges or something and you unlock something i think all these charms would be perfect for that anyways let's move on to the next set of unreleased items which is emblems and we got quite a lot of these as well but uh yeah let's get right into it first one being the number 10 number 11 we got the number 12 up next we got the academy emblem a drift and slip space emblem athens ascent emblem anti-dot emblem autumn force emblem banshee invader emblem which does not look like a banshee at all barbed wire emblem battle group aerofall emblem battle group indominus emblem battle group Olympus emblem, we got the battle wise emblem, B mine emblem, bear constellation emblem, better together emblem, block emblem, which is probably something for like mega blocks, bulldog, bully emblem, burger prince emblem, capsule revival emblem, we got the cartographical emblem, which I think is supposed to be a play on the silent cartographer or something like that. Celtic Clover emblem, champion revival emblem, classical model emblem, the colony drop emblem, that one's pretty cool. Of course, people are going to like this one. We got the Cooler Craig Emblem. We got the Def Emblem. Delta Revival Emblem. Distraction Pineapple Emblem. Dragonfly Constellation Emblem. Eagle Constellation Emblem. Earth Day 22 Emblem, which I guess was supposed to release sometime during Earth Day, but never did. Electric Tunes Emblem. Electron Emblem. Emil Skull Emblem. End of the Rainbow Emblem. Event Horizon Emblem. First Impression. Bronx Fish Tacos. Frost Dragon. Ghost Angel. Ghost invader dude this one looks more like a banshee than the other one we got the going commando emblem go milk grunt goblin harry biker club halo gear emblem helping hands heroic restraint which i think this is a play on the arthur meme that's pretty funny we got the hit render emblem which i think is a play on something as well that I, I like recognize but then i don't know what it is i've seen it before but uh i'm pretty sure that's a play on something as well anyways on to the next one we got hydra commendation iconic angles iconic arcs international woman's day jolly roger lesiona lament we got the lorette emblem legacy of battle Lim limbitless liquid metal lock on love struck lucky seven mandatory fun we got the mercenary we got the millennium hit soon or however the heck you say that millennium ring millennium burst monitored mr moa that one's pretty funny new hammer objective revival old faithful operation shatterline phoenix pirate pocket nuke which is uh i'm making fun at like halo ce i'm pretty sure that's pretty funny poison storm pro Lear, probably said that wrong rally ride the wave that one's pretty cool looking ritual dagger runes s7 commendation scorpio seeker which is another meme one that one's pretty funny sidekick commendation signal density signal map signal strand soul revival sorvad beach sorvad cubix sorvad link sorvad solid spartan veteran spanker commendation spring festival firework spring festival lanterns we got strength sugar rush sunray target weakness temperance the chariot the crew this one's pretty funny the devil the emperor the empress the fool the lovers i think these are supposed to be like tarot cards or something trials of trebuchet tri vector turtle constellation unicorn of air unicorn of lightning unicorn of nature unicorn of shadow unicorn of cosmos of the cosmos valentine heart wicked thoughts winged victory wolf constellation wormhole yokai zeta emissary and zeta trailblazer so that wraps up all the unreleased emblems and yeah there's some really unique ones in there that would have been nice if they released but uh hopefully we'll see it in the exchange anyways let's move on to the last set of unreleased items and that is none other than the backdrops which is probably the most hated thing in the game or i wouldn't say hated but i, I don't i don't even know if people know it exists and i think it is a shame because they could have definitely done more with the backdrops but anyways let's get into all the unreleased backdrops the first one being atomic 
backdrop anti dot be mine harbin spring covenant archival i think is how you say that praise detonation crossbones cross knives cross swords cutlass i think these are like classic emblems and this one's really cool looking we got the digital trip backdrop this one's funny we got the dug backdrop which i think is one of those little what are they called i, I forgot what they're called anyways moving on to the next one we got first constant backdrop floral crest circular floral crest linear gifted silex glyphs gosper curve gosper island we got the grunt birthday backdrop that one's pretty cool looking iconic angles iconic arcs incitement backdrop knots backdrop lovely backdrop lamu backdrop lunar solar motorcycle club nibbles and bites that one's pretty funny phoenix backdrop proof backdrop repeater beckons retro sign sentient connection sorvad weave spider webs symbolic backdrop the yappening backdrop trippy voice of authority that one's like really well made and the final one being yokai so that is all the unreleased cosmetics i think there's quite a lot of good stuff in there that i hope makes it into the exchange even the emblems and backdrops i think there's some pretty interesting stuff in there so yeah let me know what you guys think i got all this from the silex guide of course consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support and if you want to see more content like this but uh yeah let me know if there's anything in there that you would want to see in the exchange i'll see you guys on the next one peace